Well, welcome everyone to episode 7 of Let's Cook. My name is Sylvester, known as the Weight Loss King, but don't let that scare you because I'm a freaking nice guy. So, um, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to do double trouble. I've listened to my audience, my followers, and I've come to the conclusion that we're doing two. One recipe comes from the low carbohydrates meal pan that I put together, and the other one comes from protein. So last week we spoke about, and the request was, how about some snacks and something really easy to put together that you could have for breakfast or for lunch or for dinner, or you can cook up and you could have for leftovers for the next day. Because remember, when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, Prep work is very important because if you're not prepared and don't have your food ready, you'll end up making wrong decisions, you're tired, you're frustrated, and you'll tend just to grab and eat, or if you get really lazy and you've got no time in your hands, which we all are pretty, pretty busy life, you'll just order some takeaway or go and pass and pick it up. So what we're trying to do is here is promote healthy eating and key is preparation. So, and saying all of that, once again, welcome to episode seven. So today, the first, what I need you to do is right now, I need you to do the most important thing before cooking. And that is, get yourself a glass and pour yourself some wine. Now, if you don't like wine, that's okay, pour yourself something else. But I believe that to make cooking fun, because it can be quite boring sometimes, we need to make it enjoyable. And I find that I've got some nice red. This is some Sicilian red wine. So let's make it, if we're gonna cook, let's do it on our, on our terms. And let's start with a toast. So toast to everyone wanting to lose weight for the very last time. Cheers. Okay, now we've got the most important part out of the way. I want you to turn on your oven at 180 degrees. Okay? Now, our first recipe, what we're going to make, this comes from the low carbohydrates. And we're going to cook, we're going to cook egg broccoli and ham muffin, ham muffins. Okay, you can see how this book is made. It's fantastic, you can download it from my website as a digital download. And I'll put the details in my description down below. And you get a 25% discount voucher. So, you get a picture, and you get exactly what you need and what to do, how many people it serves, how long it's gonna take you, and it gives you a key whether or not if it's gluten-free, Nut free and so forth. So this is this. Even though it has egg and broccoli and ham muffin, you can really make it your own. So if you don't want ham and you're um, vegetarian, add mushrooms. Okay. So there we go. All right. So first of all, so I just want to show you how that looks and how thick it is, and it's it's a really good way. Planning is key to weight loss. Losing weight for the very last time, you've got to be organized, okay? You've got to go with a plan, plan of attack. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side because I already have printed out something and I've just put my little instructions like this. Okay, so the first step, I can't see you because Loretta, my fiance, is filming today, so any comments I will um, reply back. After, after the video, and thank you for everyone who's on there right now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to beat up the eggs. Okay, so we need five eggs. I'm going to old school, no fancy gadget here today. So old school, five eggs into your bowl. Yolk and oil. I'm really hoping that you're enjoying the cooking segments. I get a kick out of doing them. 
because the first step to losing weight for the very last time is cooking. Yes, mindset is very important, but you need to make sure that your environment supports your goals. So your, your kitchen environment, you know, the way it's organized, what foods you have in your cupboard, in your fridge, really is a recipe for success. Get it? Recipe for success. It's like in the girls, when you're baking a cake, if you're missing one ingredient, say the yeast, it's not going to rise. So you need to make sure that you have all the ingredients to lose weight for a very last time. Okay, eggs are in. I'm going to add some salt. So that's pepper and salt into that. Okay, I've already got some water and some milk that I'll put into my eggs. This makes it a bit more fluffier. It's into there. And guess what? No special gadgets. I'm going old school and I'm using a fork. Okay. I would love to put some music in the background, but you can hear the music of me whistling. Now, how many of our parents and grandparents, my, uh, this, I, I think of my grandmother when this is happening because she's the whisker in the bowl with the fork and this carry on tradition. Nothing wrong with tradition. Maybe you can hear me nice and clear. Okay, so that is done. I've also got some parsley. You can add parsley to it right now or we can do it later. So let's do it later. To make life a lot easier, and also what you need to do is, is add your crushed garlic into your mix. Okay, garlic's in there, and that's brisket in there. So you have five eggs, some water, some milk, salt, pepper, and garlic okay that is done and we don't need it so what I'm going to do is is basically pour this into a jug and you'll see why okay how are we going so far you know me I like to be organized that's why prepping and having a clean bench that we all work differently so just create that environment that makes you work and enjoy okay we need a um, wine break and let me know down below your preferred wine it's white red bold or light or even a rosé okay so now we've got that to one side we can leave it there the next thing you need is a muffin tray. So this one is closed, make sure it's closed, muffin tray, and we need to put some um, cooking spray or butter or whatever you like. I tend to use coconut oil. I also tend to use olive oil, but I don't have any spray olive oil today. And just give it a spray around the edges, like so. Spray is great because you've got more control just in the middle and around the edges so it doesn't stick. <coughs> I just been fumigated by coconut oil. Okay, so that's done. <coughs> and what we need to do is now, the next ingredients that we have, I've already cooked my broccoli, so what you need to do is, is cook, put some broccoli into hot um, boiling water three minutes and then pour the broccoli out. I've done that already so you just need some and all I want you to do is put it in there for three minutes. Hot boiling water, three minutes broccoli and that's done. I have some ham, diced up and some mozzarella cheese. Okay mozzarella cheese, ham and broccoli. Now how much do you need? Well you need half a kilo or half a broccoli, or say a full, I put a full broccoli in this one. 
And as far as ham and cheese, well, probably 40 grams of each. Just depends how much you want to use. Because now what we're going to do is, we're going to layer inside. We're going to put some broccoli, some ham, and some cheese. And then we'll pour the egg on top. Okay? But what I like to do first is the broccoli. My hands are clean. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pull out the broccoli. If you don't like the stems, that's okay. Like, like little trees, aren't they? Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to grab. While Lorella's doing that, and just put your broccoli in like so. That one's my tree. Okay, some broccoli hang over the top. So, broccoli has got lots of um, calcium and protein, okay, and fantastic carbohydrates. Oh, carbohydrates, carbohydrates, oh, carbohydrates. Um, so, these are good carbohydrates. Don't listen to all those people out there that say to you that don't eat fruit and don't eat vegetables. Okay. Good enough for our grandparents, good enough for us. The first thing that people really need to focus on when it comes to losing weight for the very last time is more about portion size. Reduce your portion size first and that will get you going. Okay, so when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, it's a step-by-step -step approach. It's test and measure. So if you're used to eating a whole tub of ice cream, just reduce the portion size. It's all about, I'm all about not taking anything away from you because the weight loss industry, they don't want you to lose weight. They want you to be reliant on them. They want you to keep on coming back and then doing their diets and doing their 12 weeks, seven days, one week transformation programs and then you get the results and then you put the weight back on again because you feel deprived, you can't have your chocolate and guess what, you're back to square one. The weight loss king, I'm all about losing weight for the very last time, long term and not taking anything away from you so you don't go crazy. Yes, okay, so there you go. Talking and cooking at the same time. My fiance keeps on saying to me, I'm like a fish underwater. <laughs> Do I look like a fish? Comment below and let me know what I look like, what animal I look like. <laughs> I'd be curious. Okay, so there you go. So the broccoli's nicely distributed. So now we want to put some ham. And yes, and broccoli, and put broccoli unfortunately does make a bit of mess. Okay, my hands are clean. Let's put a bit of ham. You don't have to put ham. Um, it's optional. You can put mushroom. Um, so just a matter of what you want. People love ham. Let them have ham. People don't want, don't have it. But just put what you like. You can customize and cater this recipe to your needs into your taste. Okay, so that's all done. Next thing we do is I'll put some nice mozzarella cheese. Okay, the easiest way is to grab, pinch and drop. <laughs> See, you gotta have fun. Now the wine hasn't gone to my head. Because I know that Leanne is watching. She told me she's going to watch today. Okay. So cheese goes in. There we go. How's that? Perfect. Cheese in. So we've laid it. Broccoli, ham and cheese. You can put mushroom, you can put onions, you can put whatever you love. Get the family involved, make it a family event. Okay, and then what you do is just bounce it. Make sure it's all even. Okay. Now the next step is, here we go, have a 
Canada. Next step is, I'm going to put it into a jug. That makes it really easy to do. So let's see, I, if I need more eggs, then I'll put some more eggs in. Just circle, because I'm doubling up the recipe. And that's okay, we just do things on the fly. Just want to make sure that things are covered up. Muffins, you can see. So I'm just doing this. As long as we cover the bottom part, I can see that I need probably another one. I need two eggs. Okay. One, two. See? Just on the fly. That's all we have to do. And let's twist that. Leftovers, so we've got food prep for tomorrow. Okay, no panic, just everything under control. Okay, just a little bit extra, just to top it up. Okay, and the good thing about put it into these little muffin containers, it also promotes portion control. With the recipe plans I have, it does give an outline that each one is 102 calories. Each one is 102 calories. So you can, you can easily have three or four of these. And what would you cook, have it on the side? You can have a nice rocket salad. Okay, there you go. See, there was only an extra couple of eggs to put in there. Okay, that is all done. Okay. What you also need to do as well is to make sure that any excess around the edges, just grab yourself a paper towel and just clean around the edges. Okay, so we don't have any excess egg on top of that. Okay. Now that's done, we can add a little bit more extra on top before it's done the food will sink in. You see? Because we're right about so you just add whatever you got left. Well done. That's it there. And then also what you can do is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna some of the broccoli into this container. Like so a little, a little, little trees, like so. Then what you can do is you just put some on top so it looks pretty. See you become like an artist. So how are we going so far? I'm going too fast, let me know. But everything is recorded. Uh -huh. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. There we go. I'm just going to put that to one side and put it over here so, you, so the brother can show you. So now we've done that. That will go into the oven 
at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Okay, 180 minutes. So 180 degrees, 180 minutes, that would be a tragic. So, oven, I will put my timer on 15 minutes. Okay, so that's done. See how our egg muffins are in there. So are we gonna wait around for, for 10, 15 minutes? Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna pull the other one out from the other oven. And voila! Look at magic! <laughs> so there you go. That is how it comes out. Your muffins. They look great, don't they? Okay, so I just wanted to show you that plate. Like little cakes, but no, little muffins. Wow, they look really good. See how they cook right through? How does that look, everybody? So, what I've decided to do is I've left one out to give it the cooking, the taste test. Look at that, looks great. That looks awesome. See how the whole broccoli, it's a great way to have the whole family, especially the kids, they don't want to eat their greens. It's perfect. Mmm. Jeez. And then what you can do is. You can just, I don't tend to cut mine, I get it and I twist. Some parsley from my, sorry, owl garden. God, God that smells good. And there you have it, your egg, broccoli, and ham muffins. Voila. Okay, so step one is done. We have achieved, from the low carbohydrates meal plan, the egg and muffins. Okay, so there you go. But to prove to you that I cook from there. Okay, so 
So for our second recipe, because it's double trouble, and now we're going almost into overtime, but it's all worth it. And don't forget, also, look how thick this is. This is the weight loss king's planner, the ultimate weight loss planner. It is 155 pages long. It has everything in here for you to plan. Exercise, food logs, exercise, um, exercise logs, six months worth of information you can put in here to track your progress step by step. You need to write things down so you can track where you can improve upon and how you can adjust your, your journey as you're losing weight for the very last time. So this is what I do with my clients because I mentor my clients. And what I, the first step we do is we, I get them to track everything so you can see what's happening. Look at that. And it's free. This is absolutely free. No gimmicks, no potions, no pills, no BS, nothing. You download it. You can, it's downloaded as a PDF, an editable um, PDF where you can fill in the section that you need to fill in. Like one of the most important parts is, is you sign. Is that you make a promise to yourself that you're gonna do it. Sorry, I'm just going to pick this out and then we'll go into our next recipe. Here. This planner belongs to, on this day of my journey towards living my best life, on this day, your commitment to health and wellness is signed, losing weight for the very last time. Signed, still delivered. It's free, charged, download it. I'll put the link for you as well. Okay. Okay, let's go. Recipe two, I'll get the rudder to come all along to here. And our recipe, our second recipe, this is all cooking well. It's nice. Our second recipe is a smoothie. So this is great for lunch, or for a snack, or for breakfast. It's a healthy smoothie. Okay, there's no, I'll show you all the ingredients we've got. So this is from my protein recipes plan. You can download also. And it looks like this. It is an antioxidant blueberry protein smoothie. Okay. Um, and there's this recipe there. So there you go. Let's see if we can get it close to looking like that. I'm pretty sure we can. Okay. So, I always print out the one. So where this moves in a Nutribullet, so first of all, let's do this, undo that. So the ingredients are, and you can see here, is half a cup of coconut water, half a cup of almond, unsweetened almond, I don't call it milk, I just call it almond, people call it milk. Um, we've got the low carbohydrates, um, protein, vanilla powder. We have some chia seeds. We have some cinnamon. And we have some fresh blueberries. Even though you can use frozen blueberries, fresh is best. So let's use fresh blueberries. I think that wine's gone to me, but no, don't add any wine to it. No alcohol in this smoothie. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Let's look at the instructions. I like to follow instructions for you first. So let's put in a half a cup of coconut water. So this makes for one person. All right, so you can just make it as many as you want. Now let's melt the silk. 125 mils. before we have a catastrophe. Next one we need to add is the almond milk. Once again, 125 mils. That's basically that's milk, but it's not milk in the sense of texture, consistency. Almond milk. 
next step that we need to add to it. So the coconut water, the almond milk. Let's do a scoop of. This is a brand that I normally recommend, BCS, good friend of mine, and just a scoop. Or you can put a nice big heap in it. Okay, that's got protein. That's pure protein. So each one will give you approximately 30 grams of protein. Mm, it's not nice too. Let's put that to one side. Ah, Coming to my favourite colour too, which is red. Typical areas. Next step that we need to do is add some blueberries. Let's add a handful. About 50 grams. Look at the way. Two seconds. Next step is to add a teaspoon of chia seeds. Okay. Probably just a little bit more. Let's go with the yogurt. And the next one we need to add is some um, cinnamon. Just want to make sure it was cinnamon. I hate for it to be curry powder. <laughs> Let's add a heap of it in there as well. So you can see that we're well below our maximum. So if you really want to make it a little bit extra, I might just add a little bit more coconut water and add a little bit more almond because I'll try and squeeze at least two little sections. And as well, we add a fair bit of, and I might just, we add a fair bit of um, chia, add a bit more almond, and I think we added a fair bit of strawberry, uh, blueberries already. Okay, done. Okay, a lot of people will throw that into the blender straight away. But what I, what I like to do, I'll, I'll let the rest stay where she is. What I think we do is, to give it a head start, I'll just give it a bit of a mix, at least, before we're in there. Okay. Throw this back in there again. Just twist it. Make sure it's tight. Not too tight. It's plugged in, but it's not turned in. So we need now to flip it. I would hold it in for about 10 seconds. Turn it on. Down and twist. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Depends how quickly you mix it. So, thumbs up. You can see that it's, very, it's well blended. Okay. Turn off your ninja bullet. Put it to one side. Some nice cups. Wow. Aren't we fancy? <laughs> Done. Look at that. Like, that's what I mean. Go with your gut, have fun, and we'll have to do two lots in that section. Wow, that smells beautiful. <laughs> and for decoration purposes, just add some, oh, it'll go to the top, but just add some but I'm just going to do that. And there you have it. 
your antioxidant blueberry smoothie. Let's put to the test. Cheese, biggies. Wow. That's all I'm going to say is wow. That's really, really nice. So that's your antioxidant protein smoothie, which is available in the protein. That's how it's supposed to look. Oh, hang on, sorry, I missed something there. There we go, that looks good. Let's close it. <laughs> so there you have it, guys and girls. Episode 17. We can come and check how these are going. And you can see that's cooking really well. And what I tend to do is, is just, for some reason, the oven towards the back always tends to cook better. But I'll get the ones that come there, and you can see how that's progressing. Okay. Okay, once again, thank you for watching another Let's Cook episode seven. Double Trouble, the Egg, Broccoli and Ham Muffins and the Antioxidant Blueberry Smoothie. Protein, low carbohydrates. Once again, they're in the recipe plan that I sell. They have over 40 odd recipes, each one, all the ingredients, all the plans. All you have to do is buy the ingredients, the list is there, and cook. And once again, don't forget to download your free 150 page weight loss planner. <coughs> I've designed this to help you lose weight for the very last time. I don't promote diets, I don't take anything away from you. Have your snacks and taste. Oops, there you go. Don't starve yourself. Make sure whatever lifestyle, however you move, however you eat, it is a lifestyle change that you can do for the rest of your life and you love doing it. If you don't like to run, don't run. Find something that you enjoy. Walking, walk. If you don't like eating a certain food, don't eat it. Okay, you're not gonna lose weight by you know, having a salad and walk around the park. Do something that you love and you can do for the rest of your life, incorporate that into your routine, and you'll find that your habits and your behaviors and your choices will lead the way. I'm Sylvester, the weight loss king, and I want you to lose weight for the very last time. Thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow. We have that smooth, but I'll do a 20 minute workout at 9 a.m. Once again, thank you.